Hello there. So uh, the battery box uh, molded piece that I've been playing around with on the last video I saw someone had been using polystyrene to make a model for this bit so that then they could cover it in fiberglass and make a solid battery box and uh, it's a great way of doing it once you make this you get an idea of your battery box size everything starts to come together a lot better in your head and you can start to see things like this or the clearance between the, the crank and the, and the bottom of the battery box see so I may have to adjust that a little bit put the width spang on it's going to be a nice width that 100 mil it doesn't get in the way of my legs there's plenty of clearance for the pedals there will be clearance for the crank I'll make sure of it yeah so I'm happy with that but I had to change the battery design because my square batteries that I had were going to be like this and the size and I've only got two in so making this made me realise before I, thankfully before I'd made too many of them because it was taking ages yeah I'll uh, just show you the new battery pack so instead of instead of that that was the previous idea to block here just not get them in I could probably get two in um, sorry that's our last on phone um, probably have got two in there look there's not going to be a lot of room for control and fan and so so that's going to be the new one <clears throat> and that's going to run all the way along the bottom just nice one of the problems I've got now though is I've got to make this rigid somehow so that'll be the next video so this is all floppy obviously there's no rigidity where these joints are yeah, we keep going keep discovering things Till next time.